So it's important, right? To be able to sit back and commune with yourself. If you're ready, if you're truly ready, this is where self-reflection comes in because many times what we do is we jump from partner to partner to partner and we lose sight of what a union with somebody really is. It's not about perfection. It's not trying to find the flyest female or the flyest man. It's about can I truly be with this individual and can they truly see me for me? And it, the thing about it is, is that people think it takes so long to know if a pertinent person is going to be this for you, but it doesn't. Just pay attention. Nowadays, you can tell a lot about somebody just by their social media. You know what I'm saying? People don't hide themselves anymore. Everything, the veils are lifted. People are revealing themselves on a daily. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be in tune and you have to observe and be aware what people share the most of is who they are and what they are. And you get to decide whether you want to be with that. You know, but nowadays we kind of like get into relationships and we don't honor the sacredness of just being with a partner that just wants to be part of our evolution in all of it, in the shadows, in the contrast. It's all going to exist. There's not one relationship that you are ever going to get into that is not going to have those. But how we go about loving each other through our shadow work and loving each other through our contrast and loving each other through the way we evolve. Because who somebody was back when you first met them and who they are today is always gonna be evolving or it might be a spiraling down depending on the person. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't really know. But it's the consistency that somebody has. And if you can't be your truest self around someone, then man, you're not being your truest self for you. You know what I mean? You should be able to be open. You, you should be able to sit with your woman or your man and express your fantasies and desires. You guys should be able to share those together. You know, I love you that you're experiencing this and this is what you want and this is what's what's coming up for you. How can I be of assistance? Let's do this together. That's what a union is for. That's what a partner is for. It's not always about, you know, the rainbows and the bills that we have to pay and all of that. No. If you're going to get with a partner, you now have created a responsibility that you have to honor the nature of the being through the light and through the dark. 